Hello, and thanks for joining me. Well, last week I did a video on Mr. Whoopi's auto retract threading tool. If you haven't seen it, check it out. This is a really cool auto retract threading tool. Anyway, that video sparked a lot of comments on feeding with the compound or feeding with the cross slide. And some of this will be my opinion, but I think it'll be an interesting video. Uh, everybody's got a different opinion about the way you should do it. I feel like threading with the compound is better for a lighter weight small lathe and the feeding with the cross slide is pr preferable for a really heavy lathe. And let me show you why. This here might be a little confusing, uh, but I did the best I could. These are the threading tools. All these little colorful lines and everything are the threading tool. This is the stock band threaded. That's what the compound, uh, well actually with the compound set at whatever you want, but feeding with the cross slide. So it's every cut, that green is a cut, the blue is a cut, the purple is a cut, and the final cut is a blue cut. So that's, you're cutting on both sides of the tool when you're feeding with the cross slide. Now when you're feeding with the compound set at 30 degrees, this is how it cuts. See how it's cutting on the left side of the tool? You got the green cut, the blue cut, purple cut, and the blue cut there. But now this is 31 degrees, and this is, this is kind of strange. But this is what would happen if you had it set at 31. You would end up with like a sawtooth pattern on the right side. And then uh, this is 29, which is what everybody recommends, 29 to 29 and a half. And you see that it cuts on both sides of the tools, but just very slightly on the right side. And the reason for that is so that you get a good finish on, on the right side of the tool. Otherwise, you, the possibility of getting that stair step finish on uh, on the third one that's set at 31 it would be similar to that so anyway we're going to do a little test here one feeding straight in with the cross slide and one with it set at 29 and a half degrees feeding in with the compound I don't know I suspect it's not going to be any drastic difference but we'll see okay this first demonstration this is half 13 threads, and we're going to feed with the compound. Just barely touching the stock now. Advancing about 20 thousandths on the compound. Fifteen thousandths. About 8,000. Now right there, I feel it starting to vibrate, like, like kind of a tear out feeling. I'm going to advance it about 3,000 and add some oil. Okay, those are some nice looking threads. I don't know if I'm quite deep enough to go to put a nut on there. Now, technically, oh yeah, works good. You should go over the top of those threads with a file. There we go. Good looking threads. That was fed with the compound. Okay, now we're going to feed 
with the cross slide. Okay, it's not cutting very smooth right now. We're still moving five thousandths at a time, which I think is a little too much. Put that down to two and a half. Okay, that is definitely a little rougher, although usable. The tool is start trying to chatter a little bit. Not bad though. The other side is definitely smoother. Kind of hard, probably kind of hard to see the difference in the camera. But feeding with the compound for me is a lot smoother results. Uh, which makes sense. You're cutting on both sides of the tool. I'm not saying it's not something that's totally usable, but I have better luck with the compound. One of the comments that I got was threading with, uh, feeding with the compound and feeding with the cross slide are almost exactly the same. You're still cutting with both sides of the tool. Well, I disagree with that and I'm just going to do a little demonstration there. Let me zoom in on that. I've made a threading tool that's one-sided, only the left side. We're going to cut some threads with that and we're going to see how it does. Feeding with the compound, obviously. Okay, here we go. Single-sided threading tool. Feeding with the compound only. Actually, cutting some really nice threads. Give one more pass here.
I think that might be deep enough. Yes, sir. Well, what do you think? Perfect profile. It actually cut smoother than my uh, other threading tool. Perfect fit. You know what I think? Uh, the reason it cut so good is because it was a high speed steel, very sharp threading tool. And you'll notice I got a little, little bit of a radius on the tip. That's kind of cheating because it helped finish this the left side of, or the right side of the thread so that I got the proper profile there. Now this thread gauge is sharp and that little radius won't allow it to go down all the way but that's a perfect profile. Fed with the compound. Well I don't know what conclusion we came up with there. In my opinion the when I fed with the cross slide the results were a lot rougher. You can see the difference there. Uh, this is with the compound. But ultimately I think it has to do with the solidity of your lathe. How solid the lathe is, how rigid it is. And feeding with the compound is a little easier on your lathe. Feeding with the cross slide puts more load on the tool. But that's just my opinion. Be sure and leave some comments. That, that's amazing right there. That was with a a half a thread tool. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.